morning, GMS. I'm Amaya. Me, Emma. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 8th, 2021. If your child is home due to an illness, please make sure that you call 317-889-4040 and t extension to let the ch school know that what is going on. If you are going, ho going to be gone for a trip, you need to let the office know for a week in advance. Students, if your Chromebook needs repaired or replaced, please have a parent fill out the form on the GMS website. Click on the parent tab and click on the device repair. Student, remember that you, students, remember that you are still required to have a mask when riding the school bus. Thank you for your cooperation. Thankful for teachers. Help give thanks to Greenwood Community School staff member who has been an in, who has been inspiration. We all had that one special person who has made an impact on our lives. It can be a teacher, nurse, cafeteria worker, classroom assistant, custodian, etc. Visit thankful, thankful 21, 2021 to give givesmart.com or text thankful2021 to 276278. Write your note of appreciation to any grievance staff member of your choice and see what other surprises are available for purchase. Follow the Greenwood Education Facebook page to, wa to watch the fun unfold. GMS Student Council is collecting items for the Afghan refugees. <laughs> Housed at Camp Atterbury. Each grade will be collecting a different item for men, women, and children. Sixth grade, new winter socks. Seventh grade, new gloves or mittens. Eighth grade, new winter hats. Students can bring donations and drop them off in the grade bins or parents may drop them off in the front foyer. Collection ends November 16th. GMS would like to thank, thank award-winning author Jennifer A. Niel A. Nielsen for joining us for her author visit last week. We would also like to thank Mrs. Reinhardt and Mrs. Ellington and all of the teachers that helped make the reading feed and the author, author visit a big success. Remember, if you are if you know stupid facts, like to like to learn, are curious, and ask questions, you have what it takes to be an author. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS Sports update. Have a great day, week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Izzy Higuretta here with GMS Guidance Counselor, Ms. Badger. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Um, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm married and I have two kids and I live here in Johnson County. Have you always wanted to be a school counselor? Um, not always. First, I was a social worker for a while, and then I decided to switch to school counseling. So I went back to school for that. Um, if you could have any other job, what would it be? Mm, I would own a bakery. I love to bake. It's so much fun. That's what I would do. do you, what is your favorite book? I don't have a favorite book. I read just about anything. I'll at least give it a try. So no favorites. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I love to travel. That's my favorite thing to do, is just going to new places and exploring. Thank you for coming on our show Ms. today, Miss Badger. Have a great week. Thank you, you too. Hi, this is the Green Extreme Robotics Club from Greenwood Middle School. With Lillian Hufford, Theodore McDaniel, William Thompson, Connor Hooks, Dylan Palma, Griffin Kroll, Nolan Curtis, Kirsten Farr, Porter Murray, and I'm Luke Troyer. Do you ever wonder, or do you ever think that mailmen take too long delivering packages? We think we have the perfect solution. We are the Green Extreme Robotics Club Team 25742. Our problem is delivery workers take way too much time finding packages. They could be using time to delivering packages. Also, the amount of packages lost is alarming. According to ShipInsure.com, a staggering 3 billion packages are lost and damaged every year. Another big problem is we deal with today is package theft. And and how easy it really is to steal packages. According to New York Times reporting on estimating 15% of online shopping deliveries in urban areas 
fail to reach their final destination due to theft or logistical issues. Our plan to fix this. A small sticker will be placed on the lid of every mailbox that receives a package. This sticker will connect to the shipping labels of all the packages ordered. When the sticker is in range of the corresponding package, it will make a beeping noise. The tracking sticker on the box will also include a tracker in case further searching for the package is needed. The tracker can be accessed through software that you can use to make it beep. The sticker on the packages will add an estimated $1.30 to shipping. The sticker on the mailbox is estimated at two thirty four. Both will be paid for with extra taxes that won't necessarily be noticeable. How are we going to power our sticker? We are going to use the technology in an electronic birthday card to power a beeping sticker. The kind of battery is a CR2032. The cost is $0.45 cents a battery if you buy a 1,000 plus batteries. How this will look in the real world. This is an example of the beeping speaker. The part where it says speaker is the speaker for the beeping. Um, the thing on the side is the power for the beeping spe speaker. Um, the, the circle is the battery to charge it. And this is the app for finding your package. It's called Find My Package. The origin of our sticker. Our idea originated from the tracking sticker used on the back of a cross country tracking bib. On the left is a picture of what gave us the inspiration, and on the right is a picture of what the sticker on the back of it looks like. This is how our project has evolved. Our first idea was to have a chip that we put inside the box itself. This would connect to a processing chip in the road or street that would make it be when it's in the vicinity of it. Then we would decided that it would be better just to put the same chip inside a sticker and then attach it to the lid of a mailbox. We decided it would be easier to, to just drive by instead of scan. Then we thought of making an app that would help uh, package theft. We talked with Mrs. Vaughn and she, pre she presented the problem of delivering packages to apartments. We discovered it would just be easier if we could use one sticker for all the mailboxes. We wondered how we would make, uh, how we would power the chip. So we decided to take this chip that would be inside of a singing birthday card so that when you opened it, it would sing to put inside the sticker of the mailbox. How this relates to Cargo Connect. Our project relates to Cargo Connect by helping cargo be delivered faster and easier and more efficient. Also, to be helpful, to keep packages from being stolen or damaged. Here are quotes from people who love our ideas. Mrs. Vaughn, our professional shopper, states, I really love this idea. My EPS person pulls all the way up to my driveway and sorts all of, my pack all of the packages for my street in my driveway. And I think he would really love this. I am the rest stop for the drivers in my neighborhood. Ashley Thompson states that the benefits of reduced theft and fewer, pa fewer lost packages far outweigh the cost of this innovative solution. Our finishing thoughts about our innovation project. We would like to see our innovation project help make deliveries faster and more efficient. The research, the research put into our innovation project has made us think so much about the postal delivery service struggles and how we can fix it. This, this project also made us closer friends, but more importantly, it improved our teamwork skills and made us a, a better team altogether. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Alex, and let's get started with number three. According to Kids News, dogs can surprisingly retain knowledge as fast as a one-year-old child. While most dogs can follow commands such as sit and become really excited at the mention of walkies, a study has found that some dogs can also learn and remember names of their toys. Hungarian researchers spent more than two years researching how dogs retain their knowledge. Number two. According to, Do to Dogo News, king penguins, the second largest penguin species, typically sport a distinct black and white coat on 
with a yellow, yellowish gold dash of color on their collar. However, one young penguin in South Atlantic appears to have missed the memo on the dress code. It decided to forego the black feathers and retain the, just the bright yellow plumage. What do you think of this penguin's drip? <laughs> According to NPR's Strange News, new Pokemon Oreos are giving fans something to, be ex to get excited about and providing collectors with a new avenue to potentially rake in thousands of dollars. Launched earlier this month, the new Oreo X Pokemon collaboration features the brand's traditional sandwich cookies, this time em embellizoned with one of 16 Pokemon or pocket monsters for the uninitiated. Each pack includes a random selection of cookies that features classic characters such as like Pikachu and Charmander, but also one extremely rare Pokemon, the mythical Mew. Are you going to try to snatch some up? That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week! Welcome to GMS Sports, I'm Jackson. On Tuesday, November 9th, boys 7th grade basketball away at 5.30 p.m. at John Wooden Middle School. On Saturday, November 13th, 6th grade girls basketball at the county tournament at 9 a.m. That's all for sports.